People in that area of Cottage Grove have been complaining about this for weeks, but they said this is perfect example of what happens when speed goes wrong. Now, three people who were injured in this multi vehicle crash are being treated here at University of Chicago Medical Center, and we're told at least one of them has very critical injuries. Two badly smashed SUVs at a south side intersection ended up in opposite directions. This is the aftermath of yet another serious multi-car crash in just a matter of days. Chicago police say the white SUV, the one that's now keeping the traffic light from crashing to the ground, was trying to turn left off Cottage Grove Avenue onto 103rd Street when a 75-year-old man they say driving in that same direction smashed into it. Somewhere in the impact, at least one of those cars crashed into this red Ford Escape. The front is now almost non-existent, and police say the two young women inside are severely injured. Airbags erupted and windows shattered in both SUVs. This crash is just 16 blocks due south from where another multi-car pileup happened Wednesday night. How did that even happen? Investigators say that speeding Dodge Charger was stolen and instantly burst into flames when it slammed into seven other cars. Cell phone video showed the unrecognizable cars in flames just moments after the impact. People who live in the area complain of constant out of control speeding on Cottage Grove Avenue. A frustrated Mayor Lightfoot showed up to the scene Wednesday night to implore people. I can't urge it enough. People have to slow down. Investigators have not directly said if speed was an issue in this specific crash. They're still trying to figure out exactly what happened. But we do know tonight from investigators that the 75 year old man who they believe may have caused this crash has not yet been cited for any traffic violations. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC 7 Chicago YouTube channel.